What advice would you have for students that are struggling between the PA versus MD route? Yeah, I think um, self-reflection and um, honesty, being honest with yourself. Um, because it's really easy to trick yourself or to convince yourself of one thing, um, even though you don't actually fully believe in it. I think that's a really tough thing to do. It took me really a, a long time to get to. Get to. But it took talking to people, talking to people who have gone through it or people who are important to you or people who um, have experiences similar to this who can kind of give you their perspective because sometimes you can become, you can get tunnel vision and you just focus on one thing and you don't consider other perspectives or other options. So expanding your horizons in that sense is definitely something I would recommend. Um, also just researching and watching tons of YouTube videos of people explaining their experience um, like this video or other videos on this channel <laughs> but um, and just hearing what people what their experience is and asking the questions that you need to ask but also just you know maybe write a journal every week of, of what your thought process is what is important to you where where are your actual values do you need the title of MD, or do you just want an avenue to help people? Um, do you need to be the, the leader in a group? Another thing to consider when you're uh, trying to pick a career is, are you picking it for the title, or are you picking it for the status, the prestige, or are you picking it because of what it allows you to do? So being a physician allows you to provide health care to patients. Being a physician assistant also allows you to provide health care to patients. Being a nurse also allows you to do the same thing. So there's obviously different degrees of, of health care that you're providing, but at the end of, end of the day, if your reason to become a physician is to help people, then that's a reason to become a lot of things. So I think, you know, being honest with yourself, like, are you okay with being not called, you know, a physician, a doctor, having doctor in front of your name or MD, having you know, a different title, but still providing a really important role in healthcare. Um, and I think that's a hard pill to swallow for some people. I think for some people, they haven't really considered it, um, but it is something to think about. Another thing is obviously your role in the healthcare team. So a physician has a different role than a physician assistant. The physician is the supervising um, member in the sense that if um, something goes wrong, then, you know, people usually look to the physician. Um, and you know you, you will consult your physician on a lot of things. So if you're if you have something within you that you need to be the leader in every circumstance, not in every, but to be the leader generally, or to be the kind of um, last line of defense, slight kind kind of thing, then then you have to be also honest with yourself. If you're not okay with having limited or some type of yeah, like kind of scope that's limited um, like a physician assistant does and under like you know, medical directives if you're not okay with that then you have to be honest with yourself there too if you're not okay with you know you're not going to be the one doing the intensive surgery you're not going to be the one you know inside doing all of those things you might be assisting in that or you might be just taking care of the inpatients and the outpatients you have to consider all of those things because um, it is a different role and it has different responsibilities different tasks that are completed so, you know, writing down what is actually important to you, reflecting on that, and then talking to people who will inquire and, and kind of throw questions at you to, to kind of open up different ideas or perspectives is important um, to kind of get a concrete motivation to become whatever you want to become.